Hello guys, welcome and welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's your girl, Kinstetic with the Kinstetics, and I'm here with you guys today with a new video. So today's video, I want to do a chit chat, get ready with me. I want to do my makeup on camera with you guys from start to finish, as well as speak to you guys about... 2022 my expectations what i have in store for myself for kendra for kinesthetic for 2022 as well as speaking on some lessons that i learned in 2021 so if you guys are interested in seeing me beat my face seeing this whole look come together then go ahead and keep on watching make sure you guys subscribe to my youtube channel give this video a big thumbs up drop a comment down below and without further ado let's go ahead and get into this face let's get into that face okay so we're gonna get this face together i want to concentrate on the chit chat portion so i will list all of the items that i'm using down below so check the description box i'll list everything in the order that i use them and yeah if i didn't say it already my hair is being recorded in a separate video which will be linked down below because it will be up before this one so yeah let's go ahead and get into this face so i pulled up a little closer so y'all can see everything that's going on because i need y'all to see it all okay so in case you guys don't know i do have acne prone skin i have dark spots i have hyperpigmentation so yeah i'm gonna show you guys like you guys are gonna see throughout me doing my makeup because i'm gonna be talking and once i start talking baby i'll be talking so you guys are going to see throughout the video how I conceal and do all of that stuff so that my face could be nice and beat as you guys saw in the intro of this video. So I actually wanted to post this video earlier in the year, but I guess you could say God had other plans, but we here. Okay. So this video, I want to talk about my plans for the year how i feel about 2022 and kind of like some lessons from 2021 as well as we're just gonna be talking about a whole bunch of things y'all know me once i start talking i start talking so 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 it's 2022 happy new year i feel like i never said that like even in my first video of the year i'm like i'm so rude how did i not say happy new year but happy new year happy 2022 period we are in a new year and so many things i want to speak about like i tried to make a list of everything i wanted to include in this video and i'm like girl you're gonna be sitting here for hours talking to those people make it quick make it short okay so this year 2022 when i'm saying that it's gonna be my mother freaking year it's going to be my mother freaking year okay when i say that i say that for multiple reasons so first of all I have so many plans for this year and I don't like speaking about them before they actually occur. So that's not going to be what this video is about. This video is more so just a chit chat to give you guys like some inspo motivation as we do enter the new year, right? So first of all, I keep saying first of all, you're like on the third of all. <laughs> so let me do my brows off camera real quick so that we could get the ball rolling. Okay, so I have a rough draft of my brows. <laughs> I've been liking to do my brows a little bit slimmer. But 2022, right? So let's get into it. I put up a tweet. I'll put it somewhere on the screen here. Of me making my announcement before the year even began. Is that if you're my friend and you ask me to go anywhere... Or to do anything in 2022 and i say no i say i can't make it i say i can't afford it please respect that please respect that because 2022 in case you guys didn't watch my 2022 vision board digital vision board video i'll link it up above 2022 for me is all about saving like y'all saw the goals that i had in that video all of them require me to have what? Moolah. So, in order to have money, I need to save money. In 2021, I found myself spending money like I was a freaking drug dealer. 
Like, I was just like, girl, where are you going spending all this money? It was given, I'm going to spend the money and make it right back. But that's not the mentality that we need to be having. So 2022, I'm cleaning my act up. I'm not spending any unnecessary money. Birthday gifts, I don't, like, I'm telling people in advance of my birthday, please, like, you don't have to get me anything. You don't have to get me anything. All I'm asking for everyone this year for my birthday is to repost my Instagram page, repost my YouTube channel, promote me, support me and my brand, and that's all I'm asking for because I'm not participating in birthdays this year. I just cannot. Like, the amount of money I spent last year was honestly crazy. And I don't regret it. I'm going to say that. I don't regret any of the money that I spent in 2021. I'm sure I had, like, you know, some regrets here and there. For, but for the most part, I was just like, I spent it. I did the damage. It was worth it, okay? I had so many experiences in 2021. But 2022, 2022, your girl sitting her butt cheeks down, okay? So, I'm not going to, I'm not saying I'm never going out this year. I, I'll go out. Like, on Friday, I went to um, the Brooklyn Nets game to support my friend Tabitha. Like, I'll do stuff like that because it's like, I won't get those experiences again. Like, experiencing people's first or experiencing, like, something to support someone in their business. But when it comes to birthday trips, I don't think I can do that this year. When it comes to birthday dinners, I'm definitely not going to be able to do that. Also, it doesn't even really make sense for me to go to people's birthday dinners because of, like, the way I eat now. Like, I'm just like, what am I going to eat? Y'all want me to pay $100 to eat some salad or sides? Like, no, it's not giving that. So, birthday dinners, birthday meals, brunches, I cannot participate. And it's all to better me in the long run. And I understand that. And honestly... I'm okay with sitting down this year because I have so much to do. Like, I'm so busy that if we have to quarantine again, baby, I'm quarantining myself, okay? And I'm completely fine, but I'm just putting myself on lockdown. I'm putting my purse on lockdown. I'm putting my coins on lockdown. That's the energy that I'm having this year. So, I'm just, I just wanted to say that to open the video. So, if you're my friend and you're watching this and you ask me to do something and you're confused why I say no, that's why I said no. So quick intermission for my foundation. I've been loving to mix the NARS, um, what is this? The Radiant, Natural Radiant Longwear Foundation. The shades Macau, which I just put on. Now I'm going to go ahead and put Tahoe on. I feel like the mix of the two, chef's kiss. Because my face is too dark right now. Like, y'all can't really see my shoulders, but my face is too dark. So Tahoe, she just calms the girls down. much better but i came to do my makeup and not even wet my sponge so brb but yeah this year 2022 i am unapodo unapodo i am unapologetically focusing on myself i vow to not feel bad about doing things for myself i vow to not put myself down for putting myself first like that's a whole nother chit chat topic, but I'm really just focusing on myself this year. I'm focusing on bettering myself in every aspect of life and I'm excited. I'm so excited for this year and I feel like a lot of times, like, you know, at the beginning of the year, we're hype about goals that we set for ourselves, but the goals and just the energy for 2022, it just feels different to me. Like, it just feels like... This is your time. Like, literally, that's how I feel. I feel like this is your season. This is your year. And everything that I know I want to get done this year is going to get done. Right? Boom. So, last year, I did a lot of things that... Some things worked for me. Some things didn't. And I did a lot of reflecting at the end of 2021 to figure out what those things were. So, with my personal brand, so my Instagram feed and my YouTube channel, you guys are going to notice... A couple of changes. I can't like say all of them now, but I will let you guys know that you guys can expect not to see a lot of hauls on my channel. 
especially like through my vlogs i know that i'll share like little things that i get throughout the week but your girl is not spending money and i told you guys in my last vlog if y'all see me spending money come for me in the comments remind me like girl you need to be saving you should not be spending money on clothes you should not be spending money on shoes i'll probably buy some things for myself like around my birthday depending on what i end up doing for my birthday but as far as like the random purchases the oh this is cute let me just buy it mm -mm. it's not giving that what we need to be focusing on is that house is cute i'm gonna buy it that car is cute i'm gonna buy it i just feel like i have enough clothes i have enough shoes and I don't need to be spending like that anymore. Like, once in a while, it's cool. For my birthday, it's cool to reward myself for, I don't want to say big things, but I already told myself, like, if I accomplish something huge, treat yourself. But the way I was treating myself in 2021 was a little bit too much. I used to be like, oh, I uploaded four times this week. Treat yourself. And to some people, not that might seem appropriate, but to me, it's just like, why are you... I don't want to say carelessly, but why are you just rewarding yourself for things that you're supposed to be doing? Like, I don't know. If it's something that, like, steps up or levels it up, cool. But the bare minimum stuff, girl, you're supposed to be doing that. So, you need a bag and a shoe for this for why? <laughs> Remind me, please. That's really what it's given. So, y'all can expect not to see as many hauls on my channel. I gave you guys two huge hauls in December. That could work out for winter content, but you guys really won't see any purchases from me until the spring. If you guys do want to see, like, things that I would purchase if I was spending money, then make sure you guys follow me on Instagram because on Fridays I do my Kenfluence Me series where I basically share things that I come across online and things that I purchase, but that won't be applicable for now, that... I want to share with you guys so if y'all want to pick it up y'all can but you guys can expect not to see as many hauls from me this year i'm gonna say that from now to instagram you guys can expect to see way more content on my feed i'm doing my schedule now where sundays or one day out of the weekend is like youtube day so during that day i'll record all of my youtube videos for the week so my vlogs you know i record that throughout the week but my three like content videos all of those were recorded during one day of the week like today is sunday i recorded my acne skin update which you guys would have seen already i'm recording my hair which you guys are going to see before this video i'm recording my makeup and then i need to record one more video but that one has to be done during the week so it won't be able to be done like today during my youtube content day but one day out of the weekend is like youtube content and then throughout the week is when i'll produce my instagram content so reels will be done throughout the week whenever i have time and then pictures will be taking taken as needed before i felt like i was spending so much time recording my youtube videos and i actually contemplated like do i really still want to post what brush am i looking for i was contemplating like do i still want to post three videos throughout the week but not that i have to but i would just like to and i like the fact that i do this because my content isn't like focused on one niche it's not like i just post hair videos or i just post makeup videos i post videos about all different types of things so i post videos about skincare fashion natural hair life like i just post so many things and i know that through my 12.2k subscribers that i have or people who just view my videos in general they don't a lot of people don't tune into all my videos which is completely fine like if you're into just fashion i don't expect you to tune into my cooking videos or like you know stuff like that so that's why i post so frequently because i just feel like everyone is here for their own reason and i want to make sure that i'm sharing those aspects of myself with the people who are here for them if that makes sense so i was thinking like do i still have the capacity to upload three times a week on youtube in 2022 and i found something that worked for me i'm doing my schedule differently where i'm not getting dressed up every day or whatever the case is just to do youtube videos i need to also put some energy towards my instagram feed as well and also twitter 
I don't really post much on Twitter, but I'm trying to change that. So hopefully y'all can follow me on Twitter and you guys can see more of me on there. But yeah, I'm just strategizing differently in 2022. And my social platforms are one example but I am strategizing differently in a whole bunch of other areas too, which you guys will most likely see on my social platforms and some things you guys just wouldn't see because I don't share everything and everything isn't to be shared. But yeah, you guys will see some of it, but not all of it, if that makes sense. So in general, in 2021, let me tell you some things that I learned in 2021. In 2021, I learned to surround myself with energy and people that I want to be around. I feel like certain times I will force myself to be with people because I'm like, oh, I need this person for X amount of time. Or it's expected for me to hang out with this person or this person. And it's not, it's, it's not giving up in 2022. 2022, I'm strictly... Surrounding myself with people who inspire me, people who motivate me, people who I know have my best interests at heart. I'm not forcing myself to hang out or to be friends with anyone for any reason, really. Yeah, I'm gonna just leave that at that. We'll get into friends in another video, but for now, I'll just leave it at that. I'm not forcing myself to hang out with anyone in 2022. I'm also not forcing relationships on anyone that doesn't want it in 2022 and that's men that's friends that's family that's everybody period my face looks so freaking snatched like oh my god do y'all see this face and how like concealed all of the dark marks that I had before are. So yeah, overall in 2021, I learned what worked for me. I learned what didn't. And in 2022, I'm applying all of those things. So today I actually want to do an eyeshadow look. Who is she? Who is she? So the two palettes that I'm going to use are my Jackie Ina times ABH palette and my Dose of Colors desi and katie palette so i'm gonna start with the desi and katie i don't know what look i'm trying to do girl but i just want to do an eyeshadow look because i never play with eyeshadow colors and i told myself in 2022 i'm trying to do more of that if i'm not unfocused sorry it's my first time using this camera in a while so i literally forgot <laughs> how to work it but in 2022, I also want to just level up in all areas of my life. I told myself that every day I'm going to learn a new skill. And I actually am thinking about signing up for a Skillshare. But I'm trying to do my schedule so that I can make sure that when I get it, I actually have the time to build it into my schedule and to actually get my coins worth. Because if I'm paying for something... And I'm not using it, I would be very upset. So, but if you guys use Skillshare, comment down below and let me know your experience with it. Let me know your review of it. But I'm trying to learn a new skill. Hold on. But your girl is trying to learn a new skill every day. And it could be something as small as, like, I don't know if you guys notice, if you guys watch my vlogs and my videos in general, I'm trying to up my editing skills so i told myself that while i'm editing like on days when i'm editing i want to teach myself at least one new thing in final cut pro so that eventually my editing skills could be top tier baby okay my editing skills they are going to be a1 by the end of this year i cannot freaking wait but just little things like even if it's something that i'm thinking about or something i've always thought about just googling it and finding out like what the answer is just so that i can build myself overall to be a better person and a more well-rounded person if that makes sense because a lot of times so many people know random things and i'm like how do they know that and i'm like it doesn't matter how they know that it's more so of like what are you gonna do to make sure that you're more of a well-rounded person you know i told myself the way I'm going to do that is by challenging myself to learn something new every day. Another thing that I am focused on this year is becoming more of like a healthy person. I really want to challenge myself. Like I've been working out every day, even if it's me just doing 
my 10 minute ab program but if i work out almost every day this year and i'm saying almost because girl when i'm on my period i'm not working out i already know myself when mother nature comes in town i'm not working out so i say almost every day because it's gonna be almost every day it's not gonna be every day but if i work out almost every day this year what is my body gonna be looking like in december i don't even know if i'm ready for that because the results i'm seeing already like crazy but if you guys watch my last life update i told you guys why i no longer share that aspect of my life as frequently so a lot of people were writing me when i posted what did i post i forgot what i posted but you were able to like you know see my little body or whatever and they were like workout routine please and i'm like mm, it's not giving that at all like it's not and someone even wrote me and said like oh how can i get my body together in two days and i'm like like really two days like 48 hours you want to give yourself to get your yourself to your body together i don't know i'm just like stuff like that yeah i already know how i feel about that so i won't really speak on it in this video but i'm trying to challenge myself just to be healthier so the way i'm eating in case you guys don't know i don't eat dairy i don't eat red meat and i'm and i don't eat seafood and i'm slowly trying to cut chicken out of my diet too so just to be healthier what i'm putting into my body because essentially that's what comes out of our body right so water intake i'm trying to drink at least eight bottles of water a day period energy intake which is very important protecting your energy and being cautious of the energy that you allow to consume you to take over you to just have access to you I also tweeted at the end of last year that this year, I don't want to hear any complaints without solution or a plan. So when people say like, for instance, like, oh my God, I hate my job. And they sit here and they talk to me about how much they hate their job. I'm like, what are we going to do from this? Like, what what's the plan? Are you applying? Are you, what are you doing? Because I'm not trying to have any conversations this year. I would not like to have any conversations this year that... Like, there's no plan. You know what I'm saying? There's no plan. It's like, I'm complaining and then what? Because honestly, truthfully, I'm not anyone's diary. I'm not even my own diary, okay? I could barely stand myself sometimes. <laughs> but yes, I can barely handle what life throws at me sometimes. So I always look at it and I'm like, okay, if I could barely handle what life is throwing at me, how am I supposed to handle and help what life is throwing at me plus you? Huh? this color sponsored from jackie inus palette if you know then you freaking know like when you see a girl with this color on your eyelids you already know what color it is you don't even have to ask oh do you have on jackie I you know it's sponsored so why are you asking and i've been liking to put my mirror underneath my eye when i do my eyeshadow now i don't even know if that makes a real difference but i feel like it helps with placement of the shadows more and to make sure my eyes are actually symmetrical or somewhat symmetrical <laughs> but cute little eyeshadow look y'all see it y'all see it y'all see it so i would encourage you guys to think about that too when you guys are speaking to your friends your family or whoever about whatever it is that you're going through try to approach them with more of like this is a problem this is my plan versus this is a problem help because some a lot of the times we don't even know what we're asking for help with. we're just like we don't want to deal with it alone and that's understandable but you have to understand that that's not fair to the person that you're speaking to because also you don't know what they're going through and that's another thing that i wanted to say like this year i i want to try to be more open about things that i'm going through so that if i'm not having a good day please do not bother me please do not expect me to be responsive type thing versus just acting like everything is okay and people don't know and then i'm upset at people for doing it while i'm going through something but they don't know that i'm going through something if that makes sense does that make sense i feel like it makes sense to me but yeah so that's that's my plan for 2022 when it comes to those those things those things and things I've been loving me on little blush. I never used to wear blush before. I don't know if you guys ever noticed that I never used to wear blush before, but 
it just gives me like a nice radiant look situation so that's my face i'm gonna go ahead and set using two of my favorite setting sprays right now the one size until dawn and the morphe continuous setting spray The face is looking real good. And I feel like I did that pretty quickly. I don't know if I'm just making that up in my head. In 2022, I also want to give you guys more looks. I feel like y'all deserve it. And not even that, but I have so many clothes that one, I have not worn yet. Two, I haven't got pictures in. Three, I just have like so many fashion ideas specifically that I need to just pull out the vault and execute. Period. No more excuses. No more holding back. 2022, I'm doing it all. So when you guys see all different types of content on my channel, just know that I warned y'all in advance. But yes, I do plan on bringing a whole bunch of new content to my channel this year. And I'm pushing myself. Like, when I tell y'all I'm pushing myself, I'm pushing myself to just break out of so many bad habits and just holding myself back. Because if you think about it, we're the only person who holds ourselves back. Like, no one else is holding us back but ourselves. So, 2022, I'm applying straight pressure. I'm going to do my eyeliner. And I've just been liking to do my eyeliner from like, oh, what's this on my finger? To do my eyeliner from the middle of my eye to the end. So, I'll just let you guys watch me. And I wing my eye, not at the end of my eye, but before that. Because I feel like it just gives my eye more of like a smaller look, which I like. And I'm going to put some mascara on. I'm going to use my Benefit Roller Lash Mascara to coat my top and bottom lashes. Now I'm going to pop on some lashes. These are the lashes that I've been wearing for basically the whole of 2022 so far. These are Naya's Mink Lashes. This is the Style GT. 032 this is a black on business and to put them on i'm using my caprio nyc lash applicator and my house of lashes eyelash adhesive so i'm just gonna let you guys watch me put them on and i did cut them i find that i like lashes to be shorter because they look more natural on my eyes especially since i have like small eyes so i clipped them so that they could take up like three-fourths of my lash line so that's a tip you guys could use too i don't like the full lash anymore i don't know it just it doesn't do it for me so yeah that's what i've been doing Okay, so lashes are on. They need to be fixed, so don't look too closely. But I'm going to go ahead and top my lip with my Patrick Ta She's Expensive Lip Gloss. This stuff right here. Hmm. And whenever I use it as a topper, I wipe the wand off before putting it back inside. So I don't, like, carry that over. How we looking? How we looking? Because I'm feeling like the baddest right now okay but i'm gonna go ahead and take my hair down and then i'll be back to close out the conversation as well show you guys the final look so yeah i'll be back So I went ahead and took my hair down and this is how we're looking with the makeup, baby. This is a freaking look, okay? So, yes, I am in love with this look. I'm in love, I'm in love, I'm in love. I amaze myself each and every time, okay? 
But to conclude on this chit chat, get ready with me. I wanted to say that 2022 overall is going to be a year of applying the pressure that 2021 has taught us. Make sure you guys take the time this month to write down your goals, make your vision board, whether it be physical or digital. If you guys need inspo on a digital vision board, I will link that video down below so you guys can see mine, you guys can see like how I did it and all of that. And make sure you just understand what you want out of this year because you can't expect things when you don't really know what you want you know what i'm saying like closed mouths don't get fed so sit down write down everything that you want to achieve write down everything that you are manifesting write down everything that you want to get out of 2022 and let's work towards those goals all year long okay i like to take weekly and monthly like checks just to say like okay this is a goal i have for myself how am i doing just to make sure i'm staying on track i say all of this to say that in 2022 i'm all about me okay i'm focused on me and nothing else but me so when y'all see me at the end of 2022 i'm gonna be a different woman than i am right now and i am so ready for that journey so i hope you guys enjoyed this video i hope you guys enjoyed my little chit chat as well as seeing me beat my face if you guys want details on this hair i will link that video up above because it will be up before this video and that's all i have so if you guys enjoyed this video make sure you give it a big thumbs up drop a comment down below let me know what some of your goals are for 2022 what you learned in 2021 comment down below and let's have a discussion and make sure you guys give this video a big thumbs up turn on your bell notifications and until my next video i'll see you guys later mm.